Back now to go behind the scenes with Jennifer Lopez as she launches her big summer tour with Enrique Iglesias. An exclusive interview with Amy Robach. J-Lo opens up about her love life. And for the first time, we hear from her backup dancer and new boyfriend, Casper Smart. Amy here with all the details. That's right, George. Good morning. It was incredible access, both on stage and backstage. Jennifer Lopez and Enrique Iglesias opened up about life on the road. J-Lo even giving us our first interview with the new man in her life. Enrique Iglesias. And Jennifer Lopez. The king and queen of Latin pop joining forces and taking on North America. It's JLo's first tour of this magnitude, and her new love is on display on stage and behind the scenes. It's a different thing when you play to those huge audiences all the time, which I haven't. And Enrique, you're a veteran of um, world tours. You just this made is me your sound. seventh. I'm like the oldest. <laughs> Oh, that, did, yeah. No, no, no. I've been, I've been, yeah, it's, Whatever it's, makes me sound younger. No, 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 <laughs> let's do it. Way younger than me. <laughs> What's it like backstage? We talk about what we're going to wear. She talks about, she's like, I think you should do this. I think this should be your set list. Jennifer, I think you should do that. Then we eat lunch. We talk about it. You shouldn't do the feathery hat Yeah, today. you shouldn't do that, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. They joke because it's actually all business behind the scenes. Two major productions coordinating everything from lighting to pyrotechnics to props even sound checks before the big show. She's the boss. Yeah, please don't tell them. No, but you're the boss. I mean, not... A familiar theme after talking with J-Lo's new beau, Bo Smart, dance name Casper. At 25, he's not only Jennifer's main squeeze, he's also the chief choreographer of her live tour. Uh, don't forget that prep. Uh, the, 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 okay. Sometimes I tell her something, you know, give her notes and Sometimes she gives me notes, but at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter whose position is what, because she's the boss. How does Lopez feel about taking direction from her boyfriend? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> not good? I wouldn't take that. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're right. I'm not going to take that. I think you're the boss. Come That's on. right. you got to be tough to work with the one you love. Um, have I have done it many times. Or you have, it's true. And it's, it's difficult with some people, and some people it's easy. Just depends on their personality. Um, Who was it difficult with? Uh, <laughs> say it, say it, say it, say it. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <funny>. <laughs> <laughs> I was so gonna punch you in your head. It's obvious Lopez and Iglesias are comfortable with one another on and off the stage. They've worked together before. Iglesias most recently penning her major hit, Dance Again. But both admit their styles are very different. Jennifer has a type of show. I have a completely different type of show. Um, I think your show is better. I think your show. See, it's so funny because I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, oh, I want to do that. Why did he do that? Yeah. <laughs> Iglesias says for him, it's all about connecting with the audience. You had a very touching moment with two of your fans. How often do you get them involved in your shows? Oh, for me, it's crucial. Your show is only as good as your fans, and I have great fans. J-Lo's show is an overview of her life and career, from Jenny from the Block to Hollywood glam to her Latin roots and her role as mom. You're because, getting to tell your side of yeah, the story. Yeah. What have the tabloids gotten wrong about you? Uh, everything. No. <laughs> I always feel like history will always vindicate you and the person that you are will always come through. And so I don't really get into that game. Woven throughout J-Lo's entire show, the theme of love. Are you open to talking about the new love of your life? No. <laughs> I'll talk about him. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. He's a good-looking man. Yeah, he is. He's got I, a great smile. Yes, he does. Nice um, body, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Casper who ultimately gave us a little insight into how the two first realized their mutual attraction. Surprisingly, he says it wasn't love at first sight. I don't think it was for either of us. It was just very, you know, natural how it happened. There was nothing before, no flirting, no nothing. It just, it was just, it was just natural. It just happened. It can be difficult for anybody who has to stand by my side, but at the end of the day, I know that I deserve that. Are you open to getting married again? Uh, yes. For me, the biggest dream is the fairy tale. I will never give up on that dream. But after nearly 11 years with his girlfriend, tennis star Anna Kornikova, Iglesias has a different view on marriage. For me, marriage is not 
I think Jennifer and, and, and I think differently when it comes down to that. I don't think you need to be married to someone that doesn't mean you're going to love them more. That doesn't mean you're going to be any more loyal. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're with someone, you we are We have married. this discussion over there. And we had this. And we, it's a long discussion. It is. One they'll have plenty of time to discuss on the road.